she's home. Oh, she's home. She's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. So pretty. Straight out the box and it's on. Hey you guys, so welcome. And if you're new here, welcome back. I am just wanting to share my opinion about this Dyson. I'm a person who's never ever used a Dyson. So I thought this will be a neat little review because I have I'm coming into it blonde. I don't know if I will love it or hate it. Okay, so the Dyson that I just unboxed is the Dyson Motorhead Plus. I have done a ton of reviews to find out what the actual plus mean, and I've just taken it that it means the accessories that was provided um, with this particular machine. Okay? The pretty fuchsia in coloring it's so so beautiful but i have already scuffed um my stick i'm not quite sure how it happened it nicked it so it's already um like right here i have a few scuff marks i don't know if it'll show but you could actually see the um stainless steel under the paint even though it's a beautiful paint um i don't like that it's um the matte color it's really really gorgeous but to be a cleaning product I think they should have put a sealant or something like that over it but anywho I am so excited so let me um I think um because we will be moving in a few months I chose not to hang this little um device here on the wall and we have concrete walls so it would have been a challenge trying to hang it so I just um either let me show you okay so this is where i house it for now over here in my living space um it's just out the way against the wall and then when it's plugged up so i just have it sitting against the wall like this and then here's the cord that i have and I just have it plugged. I just have it plugged into the wall like that, and it just so just fine. But sometimes I will disattach it and just have it sitting like that on the floor. Um, you know, just have it sitting. Um, I must say, out of all of my, um, out of all of the little gadgets that I do have, I use the Motorhead the most. And the other, um, the other little, I don't have it right with me. Uh, mine's come with this extra little brush. I do love it. I haven't really, I tried it out, um, but I really haven't used it that much. But look, I think this is why I have a, the Motorhead Plus because of this little particular gadget. Now I do want to invest in the smaller Motorhead um, if they have it for my machine. The one that's smaller than this, the petite one. I think that'll be so, so perfect for the rest of my steps, for getting in the car, you know, maybe even the mattress and all that good stuff. So in down the line, I will start collecting just a few more little um, neat little gadgets. I know they have something for everything lampshades curtains drapes everything that i'm here in europe this thing retailed um i think 399 euro okay so that would have been like 460 or 70 dollars but of course we got the 19 percent off of the 399 so it brought my total down to 336 euro okay and then i think after bank it came out to again back at $400 so again I still paid $400 if I was in the US 
um, for this particular one. Now this is the V7. I know the V8 goes for way more and the V6 was just a little bit, um, just a little bit less pricier. I think they are, get rid of that. I don't know. I told you I'm just new to this. So I personally think it's well worth it. I do think if it's, if you have a smaller home, my main um, source for this is my main level, my living room, my dining space, the hallway, the kitchen, you know, this main floor and even the steps. living room my dining space the hallway the kitchen you know this main floor and even the steps I can get all of that done within that 20 minute time I never really officially had it run out on me um, so I think that is really really great now if I had a larger home or if I was trying to cover more floors I even uh, ran up and was able to do um, some of my kids like hallway and then um, I think that was about the max that I could go so I believe it is well worth it. I still would think that you would need a plug-in upright vacuum at some point if you had a larger home like I do. But my main source or my main focus or my main location was my only my main level, like which I named was the living room, the dining room, the floors here. So that is enough in um, my steps. So I do believe that this is well worth it, a great investment. I love that I'm here in Europe and I was able to buy it and then I'll be able to go to the US and if I have any problems for at least two years that they will cover it um, and if they, if I can't go into a location, they will provide me a way to send it in or send someone to my home. So I do, do, do love that. So I've already registered my thing. That's all the pros about it. Really quickly, the only con that I wanted to take this back day two, I was so excited day one. I was plugging it up, playing with all my gadgets. I hated the trigger finger. Holding it down, just holding it, holding it, holding it. I really, really had to adjust to that feature because like this, I told you this is my very first Dyson, so I was not used to holding it down. I see why it can, you won't run your battery down. Um, by holding it, if you're moving around and going up and down stairs, you're not just running and wasting your battery. So I understand the trigger finger, but it really, really annoyed me at first. Um, so I was like, man, I'm going to box this up and take it back. I don't want that. So I even, speaking of that, um, being that this was the trigger finger, that's what made me, I still went out and bought my Black & Decker right here. Okay? This also comes with a little bitty um, stick where you can take it apart. And look, this little gadget right here, you can take it apart. You can hose it down. You hold it in your hand. When you switch it on, you don't have to. That's the little push-in button. You do all the same things that I can do. Now, I will say um, you can tell the difference in the quality. You pay for what you get. I really, really wanted to love this so much more so I could get my money back on here. Um, but that just wasn't the case. Like, this cannot compete to this Dyson Motorhead um, Plus, okay? Um, now, I did find myself having it on the power mode for some odd reason. I just felt like I was getting more cleaned, but I realized I really didn't need the motor head. And sometimes um, sucking up on my vinyl floors, it was sometimes, it was too powerful, so I had to adjust to that. With all that being said, I am happy I have both back into my life now. Okay, so overall, I am so happy and so truly blessed to have both of these machines back into my life. I will place this one upstairs. This will be perfect for my little bedroom and our master bathroom. I won't, I won't have to go up three flights of steps to, um, you know, vacuum. So I do love that feature so much. And I, uh, because this is my second vacuum, I will be able to leave... This is how the, this base looks. So I'll be able to leave this base down here and I have one upstairs. Um, you know, so that's so perfect. I love that. 
Um, so overall, this will be my main vacuum for my main living. And then this is for my bedroom. And then I like that I have this little stick um, to plug it in. And I'll be able to hit my floors and under my bed and all that good stuff. Um, and then I like this. I'll be able to just go in, like suck up the hair off the floor. Um, you know, from when it sheds, from combing my hair and all that good stuff in the bathroom. Because that drives me nuts. Hair on the floor drives me absolutely crazy. Okay, so overall I would say the Dyson, um, I only can speak for the motor hair, but overall I'm sure that all the Dysons are a beautiful uh, machine to own. So, well wishes if you do go invest in it, I believe that you get what you pay for because I definitely see a difference in this Black & Decker. Um, I didn't know any better. This is quite, um, uh, when they um, brag about this being quiet, you definitely hear a difference in the two. I'll just turn it on really quickly so you can hear. You hear the difference, right? This is really light. I do still like this handle, just going in like that. But again, I've already gotten used to it's been two weeks. You know, they say it takes 21 days for something to become a habit. So I guess I'm almost at that point for it to be a habit or, you know, a learned thing. So I'm really content with it. So I have it. Um, I won't worry about getting it up right until we get moved back to the States and get moved in. But until then, I hope this was helpful. This is coming from a person who owns Kirby's and all that um, good stuff in the past. I've never been a Dyson family, um, into the Dyson family until now. I say it's well worth it. Um, until the next time, thank you so very much for watching. And if you like these type of videos or, you know, cleaning, motivation, home organization, I'm here for all of that. Please join me if you're not already subscribed. And, um, and if you did appreciate it, give me a big thumbs up. And until the next time, bye for now. It is one thing that I did forget to mention. If you do have a thicker pal carpet, um, it does th stop the motor head like it will stop because it's just too hard. Like it'll try to um, suck it up. But if you have a thin pal carpet, it's perfect. But that's my, um, my second con because I try to like my little bitty like bath rugs or a thicker pal like a shaggy type rug i did notice that it didn't vacuum up so fat um so great so i had to shake the rug out and then vacuum the contents directly off the floor so i just wanted to mention that so if you were in the market and you had those thick pretty plush rugs this motor head this particular one that i have is not the best for it okay